Is this thing on? And now, to the millions and millions of listeners and viewers all across the world, it's the That's Not Christian Podcast. Like AI, ain't nobody canceling AI right now, right? <laughs> yeah, whatever. She all in. <laughs> She's with it. <laughs> but I'm all in, yo. What's what talking about? AI, what you got going on, man, musically, man? Anything? Uh, up anything? late night, going, getting up early in the morning, up late at night, trying to get this album done, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. What we looking at? We looking know. at, you got a release date in mind? I do. But she can't tell us yet. <laughs> no, don't ever say I can't do nothing. She <laughs> uh, don't want to. It just, it just, y'all know how it goes. It yeah, just yeah, yeah, no. yeah. Marketing wise, are, are, yeah, we, yeah. Are, are, are we looking at 2020? You're looking at 2021. Can you give us that? I don't know. Can I? <laughs> uh, I? I would feel, I would feel trash if I waited until next year. That's okay. Okay. Mm. I like that. You heard it here first. I like hey. that. So got an exclusive. In the next we got two, two months. In the next oh. two months, y'all know sun's coming. All right. Hey. <laughs> oh, let's go. <laughs> Merry we get exclusive. I said uh, I was trash. Right. Oh, that's true. That's true. Right. Nah, but that's cool. I don't right. like the trash. Listen, so. I I pers- <laughs> I personally enjoy your music. You know what I mean? I, I, I enjoy your albums. Uh, that, y'all. I, no, nah. no, no, no. Yo, no, you seriously. can't even say you can't even say that because I've I've been I've been maybe not day one because I would I hopped on a little weird. late, but definitely I, I I've been a fan way before G O M. You know what I'm saying? Like like oh you can't, you can't say you can't say that he's pre G O M. Yo, I've been I've been following pre G O M. So you know what I'm saying? You can't so, say we just saying that. Yeah, I'm, nah, we I definitely no. I like it. You know, I'm excited about. I know. It. I know some people they they have their their feelings about like female artists, right? Like uh-huh. some people are like, oh, they're not. Yeah. But like I when I it. hear your stuff, I'm like, yo, yo she's nice. Like she's an it's MC. Like, it's not she's like MC. It's like no one can be here. Like yeah, yeah. She's like no, she's nice. Like she's I like that nice. You yo, know son, me? and you ain't even, you haven't even seen the live show yet though. That's, That's the thing. Oh, like you and I haven't even know, know. son. Know. We doing a virtual know. show. We getting a virtual show. Man, it's COVID. <laughs> virtual concert. <laughs> but, Nothing like it. <laughs> uh, so you're doing a full length. E, uh, is it an album? EP? L- LP. It's a it's a full album. Okay. Yep. We got a couple couple features. Yep. Ooh. Can name any of those features? Chris <laughs> trying, boy. <boys. laughs> trying. Right? I got to push it. I got to try and squeeze. Oh, I'm like, yeah, I got right. it. <laughs> like, come on, man. <laughs> but I yo, I will say, you like, you I'm, know, she got GOM on there for sure. I'm super excited about it too. So, no. um, like, it's it's where I want to. It. I'm going into the direction I want to be in musically. I'll say that. Mm. Okay. It feels okay. good, man. You're switching up. Good. You trying to experiment? You switching up, or from as far as the sound? No, or you still? No, not that I'm trying to experiment. Fine. I think it's more of me diving Fine. into what's already there. Mm-hmm. I gave myself an opportunity to do that. Okay. So yeah, I wouldn't call it a switch up at all. Mm-hmm. You'll you'll see what I mean. Okay. You'll yeah. see what I mean. You know, like with the with the uh, the blank canvas album, right? Mm-hmm. Um. It felt it was just what was good was it was a complete album, right? It was like you took us through that experience, which you don't get much. You get a sometimes you get people that just put a bunch of singles together or right. whatever together and they just throw it to you. Like it's you know, it's like it's like you took your time and what you yeah. wanted to express, you know what I'm saying? And it was it was it was I beautiful, man. It. It's amazing. You, so continue think, doing what you're doing. I appreciate that. I, I think like for me. I'm, I'm not playing when I say I love art and you'll hear a lot of that, you know, art, um, you know, uh, comparisons and things like that. So when I look at a project, um, being that, being that I'm a curator of artwork here in my city too, and, um, I collect artwork and then I also exhibit 
artwork. So when I put a project together, it's like curating ideas. So mm-hmm. I'm not, I can't just grab like, oh, this, this is a nice piece. And this is a nice piece. And this is a nice piece. Let's put this together. Nah, you can't do that when you're in an art museum mm-hmm. and you're in a certain exhibit. This piece looks good and this piece is good, but they clash with each other. And so it doesn't make sense for them to sit in the same space. They deserve two different exhibits. So when you when when it comes to music, man, I I, I take it that serious. It is what it is. Right. And whoever likes it, likes it. That's what's up. If you don't, that's what's up, too. It's more than enough music out there for you to listen to. Right, all I right. all I need to do is continue to be true to myself and to give give every give myself first um, what's true. And then I'm sharing it. That's how I look wow, at it. Wow, bars. You know. That, and that kind of takes the weight off, off of like absolutely. pressure and all of now, that. Right? Now, am I going to sit here in front like I don't care what people think? Like, yeah, of course I care what people think. I want people right. to like it. But am I hurt if somebody says, no, I'm not feeling that? Cool. Because you got the freedom to choose. Mm. Right. And I'd rather, bars. I'd rather people be in my space who truly love it than to be there just to say like, yeah, I like it because you just want to tag along. Like I rather have more space for people who are like, yo, I really, I really enjoy this experience right, um, right. more than like, you know, Oh man, she, she's cool. She's good. Like, nah, man, <laughs> I, I got things I'm trying to do, you know? Now, now what are, what are some of your, inspirations or artists that in that have inspired you through years whether secular or christian that Mm -hmm. kind of like you're like yo these these are the these are the top people like they either inspire you or you just think like they're they're great in their music you know what i mean that's a great question switch and we're going to save that for the youtube segment so if you're listening on apple music or Spotify, this is the end for you. We'll see you next week. And if you want to hear the answer to that question, head over to the YouTube channel where uh, AI will give her uh, answer. So we'll see you next week. Peace. All right. Let them have it. Let the YouTube fans have it. (laughs) I'm feeling like I might need to get some royalties off of this. Uh (laughs) (laughs) No, (laughs) but um, as far as um, like, so... I'm inspired by a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. And so when I answer questions like this, just just follow me in understanding that not just one thing inspires me, not just music inspires me. So I'm inspired by art and artists in their life, like Frida Kahlo, like this woman who was bound to her bed, went through all of these things and created something from that by, by putting a mirror on her ceiling and creating portraits right. and it, of herself in some people's eyes, she wasn't as beautiful in some other people's eyes she was, but to her, it's like, yo, this is all I can do. And this is how I'm going to express myself. She was unapologetic about her thing that she created. That's inspiring to me. Mm. You got Nina Simone who mm-hmm. was just unapologetically black as a black woman, a uh, grown woman. And like, I'm going to tell you like it is, and I don't care what y'all got to say. Right. And I know that it's truth. And she had this power in her voice and power in her words. And she made things move. And she also has some issues that were going on in her life, but she used music to help her get mm-hmm. through. That's inspiring to me. Now, so Nina that- Simone was the one that Jay-Z sampled, right? Yeah. My skin is black. Yeah, man. My skin He's, is black. That song is fire. Amazing. I had to I had to hear the original one because of him. <laughs> yeah, see, man. Like she and she has records, bruh. Records yeah. of just dope music that that it wasn't just like, oh, I'm gonna create this because I think it's cool. She was creating it because she because the culture needed it. It was imperative that she sung those songs. It was imperative that she said what she said in that music. Mm -hmm. It was on purpose. And so that's inspiring to me. Ella Fitzgerald is inspiring to me. Um, More more so like in our world, like Janelle Monae, I really enjoy 
how she moved earlier on. I'm I'm not too into some of the things that she does now, um, but she was very inspiring to me. She kind of had me feeling as though we had something close to a Lauren Hill again. Mm -hmm. Um, But then she kind of, in my opinion, freedom, you freedom to choose and do whatever. Of course. course, But in my opinion, she kind of like switched up. Um, But who knows? That's, that's her life. But you know, J. Cole inspires me. You know what I mean? I can go on and on, but right. people inspire me for specific reasons. You know, um, their sound, their story, their cadences, their rhythmical patterns, um, what they say, how they say it. Um, music is a journey just as well as art is. It's all like this dance. So, yeah, I went on a tangent. Nah, nah that's cool. Nah, that's dope. But yeah, I love I love it. Like it's really art to me, y'all. I can't I can't stress that enough. It's not just like, oh man, I like hip hop. Right. Oh man, I like music. Like, no, nah, I really love expression of thought. So mm-hmm. with it being art, right? And yeah. you you putting your all into it, how does it feel that when you're done, right? And you the message you wanted to convey is now out there. You know what I'm saying? The way you wanted it though. Yeah. I feel I feel great. That's a great feeling. I'm proud about that in the most humbling way. <laughs> um, yeah, like it's a it's um it's it's like a a birthing, you yeah. know. Mm. You're going through this, you're impregnated with these ideas and thoughts, and you're going through this process of experiences and you're feeding yourself nutrition, meaning whether that means Um, Like for me, my nutrition would be biblical principles Mm -hmm. while I have these thoughts and ideas, while I'm writing this music, while I'm going through this process and giving um, giving this project nutrition uh, through conversations with different people, through just living my life as a mother or a wife or what have you. And then you you wrap all that stuff up and then it's time to deliver. And it's mm-hmm. like this, this my baby. I just pushed this baby out. And now it's here for everyone to experience. You know, whether you you um whether you reject this baby or not, like that, that that's my baby, and it will forever yeah. live out there and exist. Right. And you know, whether nice. you, you pass by it and be like, oh, that's an ugly baby. That's cool. <laughs> that baby is cute to me for, for the rest oh, of his life. That's mine. You know, um, I think that's the beautiful thing about creating an album and a project that's cohesive and that has context surrounding it. So not just like throwing out songs, which I don't knock, like some projects like that are dope, but it's mm-hmm. nothing like being able to live with the project. Y'all know y'all go back to some, maybe some Nas projects. And mm-hmm. then now you, now you reflect driving with on in your whip, mm-hmm. you know, reflecting on how you felt when you first heard it. You know, mm-hmm. just smelling the smells of what it smelled Nostalgia. like when you, you know, mm-hmm. that, yeah, that nostalgia feeling, you know, yeah. that's, that's what I'm hoping um, is birthed through uh, every project that I create, man. Mm-hmm. I, I want you to feel something and think about something, you know? So with being so detailed, do you have songs that you write and you're just like, nah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like you just toss them to the side or do you just yeah. revisit them and then say let me edit this or something yeah absolutely there's some real trash songs that i created that i'm like yo this is never going to see the light of day because <laughs> it's like just delete like, that <laughs> now i won't delete it because i always want to go back and remind myself of how trash that was just to humble myself like yeah mm-hmm. you make trash music too mm-hmm. um but i yeah i got some music that is like man this is this is not good this is not where where it's at And there's some songs that I created that's like, I would never put, it sound real good, but I'll never put it out there. It's it's like way too much. Not me. Like I'm just playing around, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dope stuff. Well, we thank you, man. We, we appreciate you for spending your time with us. Appreciate your time. Appreciate We appreciate your perspective and all of that, man. I I just want to say, I love your beat selection. Like, Man, you, you kill it with that's, that. So that's very important, bro. It is because that's what that could make or break you, especially when it comes with 
when you, like you said, you putting your songs together oh. and how you want it to flow. And that mm-hmm. one bad beat to just throw everything off. Man, I get scared when I get um features. People want to feature. I, I rarely do it because, like, <laughs> I'm not trying to be on something that's not good. But, yo, and that's why I got a process, too. I, I built systems and processes based off of how I move. So I created a system that says, hey, you want to do a feature, send a track. Let me listen. Mm-hmm. And um, it goes through a process like I may not no, I'm not feeling this one or whatever the case is, you know, or I give the reasons I got to be up front and be like, whatever. But yeah, beats are very important and people need to take the time and energy and effort to really understand their style, especially their tempo. You got to mm-hmm. find your pocket that you can just be you and um, find things that will coincide with that it takes me forever to find that beat wow wow it takes so long to find and it's it can be very frustrating and it makes me want to quit sometimes like man i'm done because i can't i can't i i marry the beat Mm -hmm. you date it and you marry that joint Mm -hmm. (laughs) for real you when i say date the beat you got to get to know that joint you got to listen let me identify and and this is me i may be too deep about it but that's just who i am because i care that much about music but it is what it is to some people it's just a simple thing get a beat play it and rap i could do that too but when you listen to the song you'll understand like oh she really you'll hear the cadences because right, I took right. time to see, like, how many different cadences can I can I do on this? But right. dating a beat, meaning, like, I got to listen and see what what's all the instruments that's playing on this and how can my voice become a new instrument? Mm. So that when you listen, the v- when a listener hears it, you're sh- you hear the beat. That's one thing in your mind. When you hear my voice, it takes you to another space. That's what I'm trying. You know what I'm saying? Like, I need yeah, you to... Right feel it in two different ways you know that's dope that's how i feel i mean i i, I get deep about it it is what it is now nah, that makes sense i love that man i love it now nah, that's yeah. true artistry right there man for real. that's true that's passion simple. for the you for the music saying? that's what's gonna create longevity you know right you know it ain't no one and done like nah man i'm this would be my third album yeah mm. I hope Our to third make project. We can't, we can't wait project. to hear that and get the exclusive on that. <laughs> hey, hey, I would, I would be interested in coming here and, and chopping it up with y'all about the project. Hey, Ooh, y'all, y'all heard it. Y'all heard it. Right? <laughs> Let's go. Y'all heard it from AI. AI, what what is your uh, drop? All your 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 plugs, your IG, YouTube channel, all website, that good stuff. That, yeah. Your merch, all that. Oh uh, man, AI the anomaly, AI the A N O M A L Y. Um, IG, Twitter, uh, Facebook, YouTube. Um, you can go to my website, which I call my home base. Um, you can go there, AI the anomaly.com. There's merch in there. Um, I got shirts, pray, push, persevere. Probably should have had that shirt on, right? Good marketing, <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I don't always be on that type of time though. Um, pray, push, persevere shirts, um, for the most part on there, when the project comes out, I'll have much more different kinds of things. I cannot wait to roll this joint out. Y'all. Ooh, I got some stuff you going. guys heard it. You can't wait. Yeah. Some different stuff happening. Oh, All right. Well, up. everybody you heard it, go to the website. Um, uh, all the links will be in the description. So check her out. And, uh, Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next week. Thank you for watching. Peace. Peace.